What, one of my favorite topics is, you know, degenerative arthritis, because honestly, most folks just don't really understand it. So I really want to spend some time, you know, explaining degenerative arthritis and why prolotherapy really should be the treatment of choice for articular cartilage issues and degenerative arthritis. You know, modern medicine is still looking for the wonder drug to get rid, you know, to, to try to help osteoarthritis. You know, osteoarthritis, it is a abnormality, if you want to call it that, where there's too much breakdown of the cartilage and not enough repair. So in other words, catabolic processes are stronger than anabolic or repair process, repair processes. So modern medicine is still looking for the drug that's going to decrease the catabolic processes or the breakdown processes. That doesn't make any sense if you think about it because the joint's all destroyed. So if all you do is decrease the amount of joint destruction, it's not doing anything for anabolic or repair. A much better uh, paradigm, if you will, is why don't we try to figure out why the joint broke down in the first place? And then let's just stimulate the repair of that structure. So then one, you'll stop the breakdown. It'll stop the breakdown. And then the treatment, because it's a reparative process, it's an anabolic process. It's, has to do with repair or building up the tissue. It's obviously going to build up all the tissue, the ligament tissue, tendon tissue, cartilage tissue, and of course that treatment's prolotherapy. If you research, you know, osteoarthritis, why osteoarthritis occurs, you'll see that the first injury is a ligament injury. Anybody who's seen MMA fighting or UFC fighting knows that when they do an arm bar, the reason why the person taps out is because the shoulder's killing them or the arm's killing them. It's not, that, it's not because the arm's going to break, it's because the ligaments are getting stretched out and the joint's going to dislocate. So the first sensation of pain when you have a joint injury, even if it's just a very, very little injury, it's going to be a ligament injury. So the ligament gets injured, the ligament gets injured where it attaches to the bone, then all of a sudden the ligament can't handle the forces like when a runner runs and there's subtle extra motion. We call that extra motion in the joint instability. When there's instability that puts extra pressure on the joint. That extra pressure is transmitted to the subchondral bone or the bone underneath the cartilage. Then the subchondral bone becomes hard. That's the first sign of osteoarthritis by x-ray. You can look it up on Google. You could talk to any orthopedic surgeon. When you're looking at very subtle changes of a joint, the first thing you'll show up on x-ray is not that there's not cartilage. That's a, more of a later finding. You'll see underneath the cartilage, there's subchondral sclerosis. That means hardening of the bone. Now, all of a sudden, what? The cartilage is sitting on a very hard surface. In other words, the subchondral bone, because it's hardened, it won't give anymore. So then when the runner runs, just using running as an example, the cartilage is on a very hard surface. There's no give. So what's going to happen to the cartilage? It's going to crack. So you see the cartilage starts cracking. And when there's enough cracks in the cartilage, guess what you get? Loose bodies. Have you ever heard that term, loose bodies? You have loose bodies in the joint. Loose bodies are cartilage fibrillations or cracks that have all coalesced and now it goes into the joint. That's all a loose body is. I don't know why they call it loose body. They should just call it cartilage. Like now you've got cartilage in the joint. So, so the treatment can't just be geared at injecting stem cells in the, in the, the joint. That doesn't make any sense because the, the pain, the pain, the cartilage doesn't have any pain receptors. So you can't just think about, I'm going to repair the cartilage. You have to get rid of where the pain's coming from. A lot of the pain, again, is coming just like the MMA fighter. It's because there's too much tension on the ligaments. The ligaments have a lot of nerve endings, and the ligaments are the sensory organ for the joint. So when the joint's feeling pain, it's often coming from the ligaments. I can prove that to you because just examine your own joint. Have somebody poke on the knee outside of the knee or the shoulder or the hip, and you're going to find a lot of tender points. Now, if it was just a cartilage issue inside the hip joint or the knee joint, it was just a cartilage issue, you wouldn't have all those tender points where the ligaments are, the tendons are. So obviously those structures are injured. So to, so 
prolotherapy, stem cell therapy, bone marrow prolotherapy, lipoaspirin prolotherapy, all those things are good to stimulate cartilage repair because those progenitor cells or stem cells <clears throat> can then form cartilage cells that can lay down you know, new cartilage. That's very good. There has been animal studies and some human studies that have shown that, you know, definitively, like, you know, follow-up MRIs that showed that, like, injecting bone marrow into the knee joint, for instance, stimulates repair of the cartilage for, for like, six months. So, in other words, one stem cell therapy can stimulate repair for many, many months. But I would just uh, ask folks to consider that Anyone watching this video, you can't just do that. You have to treat the ligaments. So we do what's called comprehensive prolotherapy. So in other words, we would treat the ligaments and all the structures that are painful around the joint as well as the joint itself. So absolutely, uh, prolotherapy, bone marrow prolotherapy, stem cell prolotherapy is excellent for osteoarthritis. We've had, we have several papers on it, so I recommend you know, go on Google and check out those papers. Matter of fact, one of the papers, basically, to me, it has the best results ever published as far as end-stage osteoarthritis. In that paper, 18 out of the 24 patients were told by an orthopedic surgeon that they needed surgery such as knee replacements and hip replacements and fusion operations. Each patient, on average, started out with a pain level on a scale of 0 to 10 of greater than 6. And when, when it was all said and done, you know, one year after their last prolotherapy session, they had a pain level less than one. So, I mean, to me, that's even better than a joint replacement. So, definitely stem cell therapy, prolotherapy works great for osteoarthritis. And I think that if you understand how a joint becomes degenerated, how the cartilage becomes degenerated, you'll believe, like I believe, that you do have to treat the ligaments. You do have to treat the ligaments. So, uh, just get the ligaments treated because then the osteoarthritic process starts, the pain goes away, and most of our patients, 95% of our patients who come, I never see them again once they're uh, done with the prolotherapy. I mean, we just don't have a lot of chronic patients that I have to see over and over again because once, the, once you get at the root cause of the problem, which for osteoarthritis is ligament laxity, joint instability, the problem stops.